Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we have a special guest with us, Bijoy, a nursing student uh, in Ireland who recently cracked his OET examination. First of all, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to congratulate you, Bijoy, and thank you for joining us today to share with us the exam preparation strategies that you have applied so far. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm really excited, uh, you know, to listen to your experience with the everyone. Um, so let's start straight into it. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey to becoming a registered nurse in Ireland? Okay. So my name is Bijoy uh, and I'm from Kerala. Wow. I've been working as a registered nurse in, in uh, Kerala since uh, 2000. Uh, 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 nine. Okay. Then I tried a lot uh, uh, to get the registration outside, and I tried a lot uh, uh, of exams, but uh, I can't achieve. So I decided to go to Ireland as a carer visa. So mm -hmm. uh, I have been here uh, here uh, since uh, one and a half years, okay. and I tried OET. Mm -hmm. So at that time, you know. I'm just lost about this OET because um, I don't know. I, I can't get the right thing, right advice from the from my tutors. I don't know. Uh, so at that time, I met, I heard about uh, Steve mm -hmm. uh, from uh, YouTube. So I contacted him and uh, talk uh, about my my you know my negatives. So. Okay. He gave me a lot of encouragement and, uh, you know, um, uh, he, he told that definitely you will pass. I have uh, some some different kind of strategy for you. Yeah. So uh, by hearing the words from Steve, I'm really impressed and I joined the class. Oh, and and nice. I'm also confident. Yeah, I'm also confident with Steve. So uh, here I am. Oh, that's really fantastic. Uh, by the way, the people who are watching this video for the first time, I am Steve. Okay, I am the OET trainer who has helped him out to achieve his desired scores today. He has got really, really good scores. Um, you know, in speaking, he has got 380. And in reading for the first time in the examination history, he cracked it with the 350. And in listening, he got 320. As well as in writing, he got 350. Well done, Abhijoy. You have done a wonderful job. Congratulations. Good job. I would like to, you know, talk about your OET examination and what motivated you to take the OET. Uh, actually, um, I came here as a carer. So, uh, you know, uh, in order to bring my family, uh, it's mandatory to uh, get the nation registration. Without that, I can't uh, bring my family here. So that really motivates uh, me to write uh, it again. Um. Uh, so th yeah, that's it. That's the main thing. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, this is going to be the defining moment in your life, isn't it, Bijoy? I can sense you that's know your right. happiness. I can sense your excitement and so on because uh, yeah. you have been living separately from your family, but now you can bring everyone with that's you right. and you can stay you know together you know happily, isn't it? It's yeah. going to change your not only your life but also the upcoming generation's lives and you have taken courage then family. you have taken courage yeah, to right, sit the right. examination Bijoy well done you have done a wonderful job and um, I, yeah. I would like to congratulate you like anything you have done a good job uh, but so you said that you have uh, received a coaching from few other trainers in the past can you please tell yeah, me what, yeah. what went wrong in the coaching and uh, why you were not able to pass in the previous attempts Actually, uh, previously I was working, uh, you know, uh, uh, a continuous shift in my my country, so I'm I'm not able to concentrate in my studies. And other than that, you know, uh, the tutors uh, they they'll give the advice, uh, but you know, um, I think uh, uh, something uh, something lacks uh, with them. I don't know what to say. Well, but they, they are uh, they, they are they are doing their best but i don't know something is lacking for me mm -hmm. but they are the best uh, i can say that but something is lacking. but uh, you know when i see you uh, and your strategies i can 
you know i'll get a, a little more confidence mm-hmm. in your strategies other than uh, uh, the uh, other than the other tutors so uh, that makes me you know uh, score like this it sounds like you know you put in a lot of hard work and effect can you walk us through your exam day experience um actually um i planned this exam uh, and i practiced this exam uh, for nearly 2 months um so when i joined with you uh, you said that you have enough time just relax and uh, do your stuff uh, uh, almost uh, all days if you can you you uh, told about uh, like that so i uh i'm not uh, able to practice every day but uh, i practiced as much as i can after my duties and i uh, in my you know um, in my off days uh, i'll just uh, if i have any doubts i i can I, i'll just message you uh, about my doubts so at that time you can uh, you will reply me regarding my doubts so that really helps me Yeah, yeah definitely yeah definitely um actually you know i have given the personal touch for him as well so that he was able to understand the reasons you know behind his wrong answers and uh, he really worked harder and uh, i hope you know the exam went to smoothly this time isn't it yeah actually uh, my exam uh, when i talk about my exam you know it was uh, really tough for me and i told you uh, and i told you on that day but uh, i don't know by god's grace i got this exam and you know uh, during my examination time i lo- i lost you know in in, say in listening and uh, reading module uh, i think i am i i lost but uh, at that time i think your strategies really helps me uh, i i i applied that strategies you know uh, and that made made me okay definitely See, any, any, anyone watching this video should understand that there are several strategies for the reading and listening subtests of the oit examination for example there are step by step strategies there are six um, elimination strategies for part b and c and there are eight reading time management strategies without knowing them please do not book an examination you have to know these strategies and you have to follow them you have to apply them you have to understand the reasons behind your wrong answers and so on there's a lot of things you have to do before you can book an examination do not book an exam without being fully prepared um anyway um, how did you feel when you found out that you had passed with the oet examination i'm really excited you know i'm really excited when i when i uh, see this result because i i want uh, i never expect this but by god's grace and uh, by your effort that made me this res- result yeah. uh, it was an incredible feeling for me as well you know as soon as i hear that you have, your results were out and you passed your examination um let's say who was the first person you called uh, to share your my results? my family oh you called your family not myself right <laughs> i was a bit jealous of that <laughs> hey, is it uh, is it so passing the oet examination is a major milestone for you and you have done it i think the remaining examinations are going to be super easy for you so i believe you know down the line within next 3 to 4 months you should be able to become a registered nurse in ireland and uh, what is your opinion about your life in ireland you know after becoming a registered nurse so uh, if we got the registration and to work as a registered nurse i think uh, it will be okay like uh, the living standard and the uh, living standard is good here um, so i think uh, we can uh, do a better life here perfect all right see yeah. uh, what what made you to uh, you know achieve 350 in the reading subtest this time and what was the highest score in your previous examinations in reading uh so 
you know, I wrote uh, for four exams wow. and uh, I can't, yeah. <laughs> wow. And there's I a, can't. There's uh, a so, lot of money. That is a lot of money, yeah, time and efforts. That's a lot of money, yeah. Actually, uh, I, 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 I didn't have any, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't have any plan, you know, regarding the previous exam. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the main thing is I never crossed uh, 320 for reading subtest. Wow. So there is a huge but difference. This time, yeah, there's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. 320 yeah, yeah. I guess 350 is a very good I, score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can say that it's a huge difference because yeah. of the strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, pretty sure that this is because of this, because of your strategy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. See, there were so many sleepless nights behind the development of the strategies and uh, they those strategies have been already working really very well amongst my students and you are one of the best examples, you know, for the same, especially for the yeah. reading. Did, did you get time yeah, because, to uh, complete, complete part A of the reading? Sorry. A part A of the reading? Yeah, I completed a part A of the reading mm -hmm. um, in the right time. But wow, you know uh, the part, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the part C, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't uh, finish one question. And uh, for the for one question, you you told me like if you if you didn't have any time to attend, you can select. You know, you you told like uh, you can select uh, uh, C or D, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, C or B, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that. <laughs> okay. So which one did you yeah. choose? I think that could be the you know turning C. point for okay, good. That could be the turning point, you know, for your uh, yeah. B grade in maybe. reading. Maybe, <laughs> maybe who knows? Yeah, that? That's yeah. the, you might have already scored a three forty in reading, and that's <laughs> the last mark you required that you chose. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. That's okay. That's really mean. good. That's that's you know that's the best experience you know to hear with and uh, I'm so grateful that you shared it with us today and uh, yeah. you have scored a 318 speaking. What is the piece of yeah. advice you have got for the people who are watching this video but struggling to get B grade in speaking? What kinds of advice do you have for them? Uh, the first and foremost thing I need to tell about speaking is that uh, speak naturally. Don't uh, don't uh, just uh, don't think about the interlocutor. Uh, just speak naturally. Uh, speak uh, like you know that. Uh, just think about that's your friend or your patient, something like that. So we can you know uh, we'll we'll make uh, uh, we we can achieve you know the the record score. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah. So you need to always assume that the interlocutor doesn't have good communication skills. You need to think that his communication skills are yeah. worse than yours, so that you can speak, you know, confidently. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I thought like that. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm. I didn't consider it as an an interlocutor. Oh, that's. I really just good. consider it as my patient. That's it. Oh, that's really good. And was the 380 the highest score in speaking in all your examinations, or did you get more than that before as well? Uh, no, this is my highest. Wow, that's amazing. So I gave you a lot of tips on speaking, isn't it? On how to organize the role play, what kinds of phrases we need to use, and what are the do's and don'ts in the speaking as well. Were they helpful for you? Particularly, yeah, yeah. you know, the planning time. Yeah. How we need to utilize the that, minutes that's time really, to plan. That. I think yeah, you were struggling. Really you were struggling a lot before, isn't it? You said that you were not able to yeah, yeah. make notes. Actually, yeah. The main thing, uh, the main barrier is, is that you know the organization is very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's the main, my, 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 So after uh, after your tips, uh, I can easily manage that. Wow, so I can finish. You know, yeah. Uh, I utilized uh, the uh, the all five minutes. Okay, so perfect. I think I'm, yeah, yeah. And this was the reason actually that yielded 380 in your speaking, well done. And uh, this time you got 350 in your writing as well. Um, can you please, yeah. you know, tell me what made you to achieve B grade in writing? Usually people are struggling a lot to get B grade in writing, isn't it? But you made it quite convincingly and easily. Can you please tell me uh, how did you make it happen? 
Uh, so previously, I have some issues with writing, like uh, the organization is used, then uh, the, you know, the uh, paragraph, uh, a lot of issues with me. So when I joined your class, you uh you you told about the you know uh, the methods how to write and uh, uh how to you know uh how to organize the letter and how to read the question that's yeah. really important of so I uh i i'll yeah yeah so i i i got all the tips from you so just i just applied that tips and i got this wow that's good and how many letters did you get corrections from me before you appeared in the exam? Mm, I think six, six or seven. Wow. See, um, there are many institutions in India, particularly in the southern part of India, say Kerala, who are offering assessment for 30 letters or 45 letters or even more than that. But people were yeah. failing to get even C plus grade, right? But you have received yeah. the corrections only for six letters from me. And you got 350. Yeah. That is amazing. So I would like to right. you know, inform everyone that quality corrections are more important than quantity-based corrections. I mean, you need to know what kinds of errors you are committing. You should document the errors. You should review the errors. And you should keep on doing this. Otherwise, you won't be able to pass the examination, particularly the writing subtest, even though you write 60 letters or 100 letters. It doesn't matter. Um, do you agree with me, Bijol? Definitely, I'll agree with you because, you know, uh, the quality is the <laughs> important thing, not Perfect. the quantity. Of course, yeah. Happy. And what was yeah. the highest and score I gave you, you know, in your writing? Uh, 330. Uh, but uh, were you upset at that time when I gave you 330? And, uh, <laughs> at that time, yeah, I, I was really upset about that. But... Uh, but I have I have some confidence in you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I told you always that you would get many you told, yeah, yeah, more you, marks. You told me like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You told me like that. So <laughs> that yeah, may, made me comfortable. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And you were commenting, you know, the same kinds of mistakes several times, you know, from one letter to another, isn't it? Can you please, you know, tell me what you did to reduce the number of mistakes? I can see that, you know, in the first letter, you have committed so many mistakes. Isn't so it many true? mistakes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but but in the last letter, before you appeared in the examination, I think you got only yeah. four or five or somewhere around that, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, can you please go through the journey of committing so many mistakes and uh, continuously reducing to, let's say, only four or five mistakes. Actually, what did you do during this time and how did you manage to get uh, very less mistakes in the actual examination? Okay, so for that, uh, uh, initially I wrote one letter and I sent to you. And at that time you, you made the correction and you told me that uh, you just write about your mistakes and I just document my mistakes and I go through uh, that uh, mistakes every day. And um, uh, when I wrote uh, the next letter, I tried to, you know, uh, I tried to memorize those mistakes. So uh, I can write the right, the right uh, one at that time. So that that, is, that made me to reduce my mistakes. That is amazing. Okay. Did you get the documentation some... is the main. Exactly. Yeah. Documentation, reviewing of your errors is quite essential if you are aiming at 350. I would recommend everyone to aim at 350 rather than 300. Many people are aiming at the UK score, which means they require only 300, which is C plus grade in writing and the B grade um, on the remaining modules. But I can help everyone to score 350 in writing as well. Cool. Did you get enough time yeah. to plan your answer for the writing as well as proofread it in the actual examination visual in the writing subtest? Yeah, I got that. But before I did, I uh, I didn't get the time. But this is the exam. I got, I got wow. that. Wow! Did I you find I... out? Yeah. Did you find out any errors during the proofreading time? Yeah, I found uh, uh, three errors, and I corrected. Oh, that's really amazing. Yeah. Those three errors I... are the magical errors which you have addressed 
ஒன் <laughs> apply them please do the review of your errors do the documentation of your errors whether it is reading listening writing and speaking please follow all of them and then read and record them on your mobile phone as well and then listen to them all these things can help your brain to stop committing the same mistakes again and again that is exactly what we need you know as long as you start reducing the errors okay from one letter to another or from one reading test to another and so on your score should be able to jump up like anything uh, that's what happened with the bijoy as well and uh, bijoy it is a party time for you isn't it do you have any plan to go out uh, for the party <laughs> this weekend <laughs> uh maybe yeah, yeah. i need really to good. give a party for my friends yeah of course <laughs> definitely see the, this is one of the biggest hurdles in the um, you know registration process in ireland that you have convincingly made it you have ensured no stones are unturned on your way to success and thank you so much for trusting my teaching skills as well as the strategies plus materials i have been privileged you know to be your teacher during your oet yeah. journey and thank you so much you know for sharing all the wonderful and valuable tips with us okay. uh, i wish you all the and very best for your nursing career as well and thank you from from my heart steve thank you for watching everybody